morning everybody and of course the ladies are up there and good morning ladies yeah, nice long walk today they are in one of the furthest paddocks on the farm from the cow shed and we just follow them up it's nice and foggy this morning and uh, it's definitely going to be a good day to spread some lime because when it's a foggy morning it usually means it's going to be a nice and uh, good day yeah we made it girls all looking happy they're getting milked. Morning, Dad. How are we doing? Good, Dad. Oh, yes, she's ready. He's right into it, isn't he? First row. Girl's pushing up for the second one. That's one of our lame girls there. She's walking a lot better. She's going back in the herd today. Oh, now she plays up. But look, walking a lot better. So she's back into the uh, back into the herd today. Go, girls. Hop, hop, come on. Go, on, girls. Up we go. Come on. That's it. She last. Yeah, monkey's all done. Bomb day today, ain't it? Bomb day. Bomb day. Yeah. Just washing up the out there. We're putting the half eye through and uh, the tag man's here nice and early this morning. It's good. We're all done anyways. Just doing the wash up. It's gone uh, 8 o'clock now. The tank has been. We sent 3,747 litres. So about the same as yesterday. <laughs> Quite surprising. That's all right. So, there you go, this is a new cut. That's how you turn this one off. You can clip them off. And this is them on. That's them on. That's them off. That's them on. That's them off. <laughs> and that's how you lock them off. And this is when we wash up. How you lock them on. There's a little bit there, as you see. Keeps them locked in, a little clip there. See? So lock them off. All right, yeah. Like that. Right, he's taking, gonna hang all these little things up here, all the jitters. Here he goes. Yeah, he's gonna go grab the uh, maze chopper, and we're gonna go grab our feed out wagon. Foggy, foggy day. I forgot about that. He had to take his bucket off. I was wondering why he hadn't left yet. He left his bucket there by the line because he's got to put the um, grabs on to put the spale on down here. Smart, you remembered. Right, let's go. didn't think about it but um we're actually just up to the part now where the uh, sprayer got stuck and this tractor went right down to the grundles at the front but because she's a big girl she was able to get herself out and he was able to get her out quite easily um yeah, you didn't quite see that but uh, we'll show you when we go down that side again because he probably is going to go in that hole again to get that last little bit of maze whether he'll just stop early to not go into that maze at all yeah i wouldn't want to go in that either yeah, right, we've got our load on board. Let's go and find some cows and feed out. They're not too far. We'll get there. There we are, they're locked away. Considering the amount of grass that was in this paddock here, they've eaten quite a lot of it. Especially they're in their last break today. So, that's good. Don't know where Dad's gonna put them on the weekend.
Really soft spot. Yeah, I don't want to go in there. Jeepers. Went down a fair way. Shows you how much power that tractor's got. She can get out of it very easily. Same with this one. She can get out of that tight spot, but uh, as long as you didn't go too far into it. Let's keep going. That's a wet spot there. And here's the other one just here. This is two nice little wet spots. And uh, Dad went into one a few times to go and get it to get that maze, an extra little bit of maze, but we missed probably five or six plants off the end because he couldn't get off that end. And I've been going straight through the middle of the two wet spots to avoid them. Because they're two artesian wells side by side, but there's a nice little um, dry spot that runs through the middle of them, so I haven't been getting stuck or even getting close. <laughs> Right, let's load up this bale of silage and then we'll uh, head up and go get some lime. Spread some more lime today. Makes it a bit easier when Dad's already half up, basically opened her up. Oi, little bugger. Good load on today. Good. Right, it'll lead us up the front. We'll just connect these. Or Got to take the pressure off them. Hey, you got that. It's the connection there. Yeti. Just like that. And he's ready. Oh, well, meet him up the front. We'll go pick up some more lime. Spread some lime. Yeah, there's our grabs. My dad's grabs there. And you'll put those back on tomorrow when we come back down to go and load up some more maize get on up The lime, sorry, on that side, so we don't get too much on this. More bumblebees coming up on the left. It's going down well. Spread half this paddock. Thank you, Dad. Just closing the gate. He's going to let us through here. We're going to go spread maybe both of these paddocks down here. Just the high ground, as he said. We're done.
There's another big paddock down. And you see there's a couple of little spikes out. There's those really bad wet spots in there, so I avoided them. Beauty. Come up great. And that's how much of the load we've got left. We'll be going back for another load shortly. See, we had a lot of trouble with rushes this year, so we're just staying on this high ground, spreading this bit. We're going to leave that low ground alone. So that turns to a lot of rushes and yeah, we'll just spread this bit and we'll be able to, um, we're probably going to just broadcast with a motorbike, a little motorbike spread of the, um, this high ground here with a bit of grass seed when we go to do our grass seed this year. spread this high ground. I was going to record it, but I can't hold the phone that steady. Not in this bumpy paddock. It gets quite bumpy. There's no point us going to the next paddock to uh, after this one because we won't have much left in there. quite empty the whole way but we'll go reload there's not enough there to do a paddock so we're gonna go and um, reload I'm not sure which paddocks dad's got in mind now but we'll go head up the front now okay, so I've just done all the screen but here hopefully hopefully if it dries out enough we can get this mulcher out and come around and mulch all of these willow weed and these rushes out here and on the other side and um, also on the home farm too next week. That'll be real cool to get the mulcher out. I like, like working with the mulcher. It's good fun. We probably shouldn't have gone through the middle. Don't get stuck, don't get stuck. Please don't get stuck. Floor it, it's last but it's always the wettest. We made it. This tractor's got some power. Yeah, as you can see, that's very wet. Might need a couple more weeks to dry that bit out. But it'll be cool to go start mulching on the home farm. I tell you, this wind's annoying at the moment. When I fit, when I arrived, you would have seen it. The lime comes straight at me, straight at the tractor. Now going the other way. Oh, no. It's a very different wind. It's changing so much. Back out into the swamp area again. You see it's very swampy over there. With a full load. Girls are. <laughs> I lost me passengers. They saw a rabbit and they were off. See, the wind's so strange at the moment, Dad said, just keep going around in circles. There's one minute that's going one way, the next minute's going the other way, so. Oh, 
poor dad, he's got the hard jobs. He's out to opening, closing gates for me. I'm just in the tractor sitting down looking out a window. Last year, we were able to do the whole paddock. The whole paddock. This year, we've not even done a third of it. I even remember last year, we were able to go right down into that, uh, into that wet stuff down there. Look, a little spur out here. Yeah. We'll just do this bit, and then we'll back up. We've got enough for one more paddock, but as Dad said, might as well come up the front and get reloaded. So we're heading up the front to go get reloaded. So what does the lime do to the soil? So for peat, the peat soil can be quite acidic, and so lime, lime re increases the pH. So you want about, uh, I think the right level is between six and seven for perfect grass growth. So what you do is you put on lime, that will increase the pH because lime's an alkali and acid's always your low. Below seven's an acid, above seven is an alkali, and lime will just bring that pH up a little bit. Um, and peat's always very acidic soil, so it's good to put on a lot of uh, lime, especially on the peat soil. And what urea can do is urea can actually lower the pH of the soil. So this, uh, urea can be a little bit acidic, but urea does make grass grow really well too. So we're just loading up again. We're not too sure, Dad's not sure how much we've got left. Probably isn't enough for a full load. So that means it would spread um, 30 ton within two days. But that's good, we'll be nice and empty again in there for the next truckload to be coming. I'm not too sure, it'll be touch and go whether we can fit the whole lot in. So it's great, we're putting it on nice and heavy. Uh, I'm not too sure which paddocks we've got next. Dad's going to pick those out. So yeah, just to recap on that. The lime's there to uh, increase the pH and promote grass growth because what can happen is the acid and acidity in the ground can prevent grass and um, maize and other, other organisms from taking up that nutrients that's in the soil. So that's good to always put on lime. We tend to put on lime once a year, um, generally before cropping for those crop paddocks, and generally before um, before we dry off, sort of around that autumn, we put on that thing as well. But we only do our fur once a year as well. That's uh, We put that on around uh, September, October, November. Okay, cool. It's going well. Don't keep going. Definitely not much left in there, wouldn't be enough for another load. It's awesome. It's going great. We've got a good load on now. Dad's just setting up a reel for 
this weekend probably. Can't really see much over there. There we go. That's all nice and washed up. We're going to put the spreader away, rehook up the uh, wagon back there, the feed out wagon, and then we're going to go home and go and have some breakfast. Um, so we just did our calculations to work out how much fur, or how much um, lime's gone on today. It works out at about, over the last two days, 730 kgs per hectare, which is pretty good. That's um, about right about where we want it. The spreader is can, it's meant to hold about six tonne of lime, but you didn't see we were putting it over um, up top as well, so it could even have gone seven tonne, some of those loads. Oh, all disconnected, bolt off, hydraulic hose is done. Yeah, well, that's us all sorted, all hooked back up. And uh, as you can see here, yeah, not much lime left at all. So it was basically just say we spread uh, the full 30 tonne, all spread. That's pretty good. Well then, we'll see you all at Milking tonight. Yeah, Carl's done a bit of spreading. Looks pretty good. Good afternoon everybody. Just finishing off washing the vat, putting the final rinse through. Girls are just round to the corner down there. Dad's a fair way from coming in. I think he's still gonna come over the uh, stock bank, back into the farm, main farm here. Come on, we'll get to milking. Yeah, Dad. Mark and subscribe. We'll see you in the morning. Thank you. Well, he'll see you in the morning, maybe. I probably won't because. Oh, wait, he might never see you in the morning either. I do the recording. But that's us. I'll see you on Monday. Might do some recording tomorrow and Sunday. We'll see how we go. Yeah, I just got to load up the. Uh, help him load up the maze and then. Um, that's me, I gotta go play rugby in there. It's just gonna be good fun. Uh, yeah, so that's basically it. That's for today. Um, yeah, I've got this weekend off, so I'm gonna relax back, have a couple of brewskis, go watch a rugby, play a bit of rugby, and um, yeah, it'll be us. Let's go feed out some mice. There you go, that's us. The girls are all fed. I'll see you all on Monday morning. Thank you. <laughs>